We've learned how to model mixing problems, but can we solve the resulting differential equations? Well, in some cases we can. For example, if we have no inflow of salt and constant in and out flow, then our differential equations reduce to separable equations. And we just learned how to solve those. So this video will look into this case and solve our mixing problem analytically. So let's just repeat our mixing problem. We had dv dt equals rate in minus rate out and some given initial volume and the m dt equals rate in times c in minus rate out times c out which equals m over v uh, with some given initial mass. Now we need to specify our parameters so we take as rate in 6 uh, meter cube per second with no inflow of salt so pure water so we take c in to be 0 kilograms per meter cubed rate out we just take 2, 2 meter cubes per second, uh, some initial volume of 9 cubic meters, and some initial mass of salt of 315 kilograms. Wow, that looks like a lot of salt, 315 kilograms. Well, don't forget, 9 cubic meters is a big tank. So if you compute this, then you find that you have uh, 35 kilograms of salt per uh, cubic meter of water, which is approximately also the amount of salt in uh, salt water so it looks like a lot but actually it's not so special uh, let's see uh, how our differential equation becomes with those parameters well first of all we have dv dt equals r in minus r out r in 6 r out 2 so we get 6 minus 2 equals 4 so dv dt equals 4 well let's stand out it's the very first case we did you can integrate uh, left and si right hand side with respect to t so in, uh, integrate on the left with respect to t and on the right with respect to t you only need one constant on the left you get the volume on the right you get 4 times t plus some c naught here is your initial condition v0 equals v naught where v naught equals 9 cubic meters uh, to obtain v0 equals c naught equals 9 so there we have your volume v of t equals 4 times t plus 9 you start at 9 cubic meters and uh, every second you gain 4 cubic meters. Now we go to the mass balance over here. Well, the R in times C in is nice because C in equals 0, so this term over here drops out. Uh, the R out equals 2, so we get the minus 2 times M over V and we just computed V. That's why you need V first, the V is over here. So the dm dt equals minus 2m divided by 9 plus 4t. And that's uh, really nice because this is a separable differential equation. So we separate, we put all m's to the left and all uh, t's to the right. dm over m equals minus 2 dt over 9 plus 4t. That's the next step here at the integral signs. Uh, and then it becomes slightly messy. Uh, the right hand side. Uh, sorry, the left hand side is uh, fine, it's integrate 1 over m, so you get the ln of m absolute plus c1. Well, from physical uh, reasoning, we know those masses have to be positive, so the ln of m absolute value is just the ln of m plus c1. Then we have to integrate the right hand side. Well, it looks messy, but it's not so bad. We have to integrate uh, minus 2 over 9 plus 4t. You can use the substitution rule, then you have u equals. Uh, 9 plus 4t, so uh, u minus 9 over 4 equals t, so that comes over here. Here you get your u and your minus 2 is in place. Uh, so your du minus 9 over 4 is just 1 over 4 times du, with the factor minus 2 gives you minus 1 half du over u, which you can integrate directly, equals minus 1 half ln u absolute value plus some constant. Uh, so we get minus one half and you was uh, 9 plus 40 ln 9 plus 40 absolute value plus c2 uh, but this 9 plus uh, 40 is also the volume so it should be positive so it means that you can get rid of the absolute value signs then uh, you equate it to what we had here the ln of m plus c1 equals over here uh, minus one half ln of 9 plus 40 plus c2 put the c1 to the other side so we are over there uh, and then you can uh, again rename c2 minus c1 as c and take uh, exponential left and right 
on the left you get your m of t and on the right you get this big exponential uh, which is not so bad because you get e to the power c times e to the power ln 9 plus 4t so you put a minus one half of there you can again rename e to the power c to d so new constant d and that's really nice because then the um, uh, uh, exponential and the ln cancel each other out so your m of t just becomes d over square root of 9 plus 4t here you use your initial condition m0 equals m of 0 equals m0 equals 750 kilograms to uh, get rid of d uh, by plugging in t equals 0 you get a 350 equals d over 3 so d has to be 945 so there you have your mass as function uh, of time. You start at uh, 315 kilograms, you see if time increases, uh, your mass decreases, and that makes sense, of course, because you lose mass via the outlet and you do not gain anything because on your inlet you have pure water. So we also understand how our solution behaves from a physical viewpoint.